Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my second video on my travel tips and essentials series. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my traveling tips and how I pack, what's in my travel bag, and stuff like that. So today's video is basically going to be more of a vlog style type video. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I prepare to pack, how I know what to pack, and how I actually pack. So if you guys want to pack with me, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just grab any notebook and a pen and I'm just going to start by making a, I'm just going to start out by making a packing list. So I'm basically going to write down how many days I'm going to be there, what outfit I'll need for every day, what swimsuit, what shoes I'll need with that, and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to figure out what outfits and everything I'm going to need for every single day. Basically every single day except day one and day 14 which is my last day those are really the only days that I'm not gonna need like a swimsuit with a cover-up and like a dinner outfit or a day outfit or anything like that because it's gonna be just a traveling day but the first day we do get in to I do believe we get to Punta Cana at about six o'clock so I will need a dinner outfit for that night so I do have just a dinner outfit for day one and for the last day I just have a travel travel outfit so I just need something to wear on the airplane and then every other day I basically for day 2 to day 13 I just wrote that I'm gonna need a swimsuit with a cover-up and some sandals and sunglasses and then I did write for some days we will need a daytime outfit because we may go off and do other things we're not going to be at the beach every day so I just put that I'll need about five day outfits and then every single day we'll need like a dinner outfit which is like our nighttime outfit so basically what I have is I will need 12 dinner outfits five daytime outfits I want to have at least six swimsuits with a cover-up and sunglasses to match that and then I will need more like comfy clothes and I also do plan on working out there. So I want to bring at least four workout outfits. Okay, so once I have it figured out how many outfits I need, what I'm going to do is kind of try on everything. And when I try stuff on, I like to try it on and figure out if I'm going to need jewelry with it, what purse I'm going to use, and what sandals I'm going to use. So, and I try to limit it to where I can have one purse that kind of matches most of my outfits or one sandal that kind of matches mostly everything. So I can really have as minimal stuff as possible because I do not like to overpack, which I have always overpacked in the past. That's why I really like to try and be organized like this and figure out what exactly I'll need so I do not overpack. So now we're just gonna go through, figure out what outfits I'm gonna take, try them on, figure out what shoes. So yeah, let's get looking.
outfits that I grabbed. I actually have them hanging up in our spare closet, but these are the outfits I'm going to take for all of my nighttime outfits and my daytime outfits, so it's not too much. I have 12 nighttime outfits and I have five daytime outfits in here. For the shoes that I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be taking these sandals and these sandals for my nice ones. These are going to be more of my beach ones. These are more of just like my lounging around or like going to breakfast. And then I'm just going to take my Adidas for working out. Bring just like a crappy pair of flip flops. I do need to clean these. These are from when I was on the lake during the summer and they still have sand and stuff on them. Accessories, I just have this black hat. And then these are the two bags that I decided to bring. They kind of match with everything so that'll work. And this is my pile of my swimsuits, my swim cover-ups, and underneath I have my workout clothes. Okay, so that's basically how I get all of my outfits and stuff ready. It's nothing like super crazy or anything like that. I just like to do it a little bit more organized by writing everything down of what I'm going to need and kind of having minimal shoes and minimal jewelry and stuff like that. Usually when I'm on the beach I only need like earrings and maybe one necklace and that's about it. And then I got it down to having two bags, one hat, and then about like four pairs of shoes. But the shoes are lightweight so that's not a problem. So that's basically how I like pack my clothes. I am doing a video on like what's in my traveling makeup bag so I'm not going to show that in this video. And basically for my hair stuff, um, I bring my straightener and my curling iron and like stuff that I actually use every day. So like my shampoo and conditioner. I just try to put everything in small like travel size things. So I can't really be minimal on like my hair products and like my face wash and stuff. But my makeup I am minimal with. So I will be doing a video on like what's in my travel makeup bag. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be my third video for my travel tips and essentials. So yeah, this was kind of a relaxed video. I hope you guys enjoyed packing with me. I am super excited to go on vacation. We are actually leaving next Friday on December 1st. So that is super exciting. We're actually going for two weeks. So while I'm actually on vacation, I'm going to be recording like my vacation lookbook. So that'll be up once I'm home. I'll also be vlogging and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be super exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.